My new name is Ben's Bud. It makes me laugh. Wow, that's a very stern looking face there. Right. So, George, you got another topic? What's your topic? I want to know. The topic is for some reason my head is pointing. Vasectomies? Let's go. Bring it I on. Know. I don't know why it's pointing this. Why topic. would you get a vasectomy if you're still single? Because it helps your vision. My cat yes. had some kind of operation done, and now he's got a dusty ass sack. That's all I know. Who? What? I can't hear you because I'm wearing glasses. My cat has a dusty ass sack. It's there. There's nothing in it. I can't see shit with these glasses on, but I think I look really sexy with them. And I know I'm going to score with um, no one. Anyway, so... tell a story about when you made videos. Remember that story? No. What's Weren't you story? shooting an amateur porn video or something recently? Yeah, I just want to let everybody know that uh, I shoot amateur porn. Uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't. I don't start. That's it. Actually, that's all we need. Clip. <laughs> don't. Don't. That's all we need. No, okay, I'm done. So, <laughs> wait. What is the real story, though? You shoot amateur the, porn. It's a joke because I shoot them with paintballs. I don't. All right. It's anyway. But it's so great taken out of context. It's it so is. great. It is. It I is. shoot amateur porn. Shoot it's amateur. solo porn, but. <laughs> what do you do, Clyde? Gill frogs. Um, <laughs> I shoot my, solo amateur porn. My, my favorite Texas quote of from a Texan ever was, you should not have done that. He's just a boy. <laughs> Uh, the last thing that I would like to talk about this evening or today or this morning, depending on where you're watching or when you're watching, you might be watching this at midnight. You might be watching this at, you know, uh, at 9 a.m. You may know. be done shooting your amateur porn and you want to <laughs> kind of just you, you vibe gotta, out you, a little bit. You're you, all wound up from the you're porn watching session. You're doing the amateur porn. You go to church. You take out your phone. You're like, I want to see my fat hands. You, you know, you've like peeled all the melted wax off your body. Your nipples are still sore. <laughs> all the clamps that you've had on Sorry, parts Mom. of your body, you've removed all the clamps. You now you're ready off. to relax. So you want to put never. on some my fat hands. That's right. You know. Maybe you just got done serving a 10 year bid in the state pen and you're looking for something other than, you know, getting reamed out by your, by your silly. Maybe you just Watch got, uh, hands. <laughs> maybe your, your small marijuana charge was just pardoned by Joe Biden. You want to relax and unwind. This smoke is a, it right here, doobie, right now. My fat hands. There you go. My fat hands right here, right now. Unwind, unwind peel the wax off. We're going to guide you through this story. So you can just take a deep breath and here we go. Go ahead with your story. Wow, man. I feel really mellow now, man. So uh, speaking of being mellow, I was in the, the most laid back, relaxed place in the world. Las Vegas! <laughs> There's nothing in your face about Vegas. Oh, crap. <laughs> and, uh, and I was staying at, uh, I've been to Vegas many times, and I was staying at uh, Caesar's Palace. And just a little, uh, you know, spoiler alert, Caesar doesn't really live there. Ain't no palace. He ain't there. So don't look for him. Ain't no palace, people. So anyway, attached to Caesar's Palace is a mall. It's a pretty good size mall. And it's very pretty on the inside. It's a very, very, it's one of the prettier malls I've ever been to. Lots Mm, of wood and glass and, and four levels and... There's a beautiful uh, aquarium on the first floor and there's very fine dining. And, you know, they have some of the regular uh, mall stores like Journey's Shoe Stores and, you know, Victoria's Secret and all that stuff. But I noticed as you get to the more exclusive boutique, hyper expensive shops, the less product they have available. It's like you go to Journey Shoes, they could literally outfit the entire Taiwanese army. They could just, you know, just come on in and we got it in the back and there's shit all over the place. I mean, there's a thousand different shoes, sandals, socks, whatever you need, but the store is littered with, with inventory. 
But you go by the Prada store, they have four fucking bags. That's it. One in black, one in white. One in large, one small. Done. That's it. You know, it's like, what does that bag cost? I don't know, 30 grand. Okay, I'll buy four. Ah, I just won in Las Vegas. It's like the, literally the, the more expensive the product gets, the 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 fucking less they have available. It's it's just absolutely it's it's bizarre. And so I decided that what I need to do and what we as my fat hands need to do is we need to start a my fat hands store at hyper elite malls like in the Philippines and Saudi Arabia and all these places all over the world. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just have a Russian bodybuilder inside in a tuxedo. And for $12,000, he will slap the fuck out of you. And I guarantee you, if we actually go forward with this business model, it'll be the rage of the world. Because people have, there are certain, there's a certain percentage of the population that has so much money, they have no fucking idea what to do with it. And getting slapped in the face by a Russian bodybuilder you just it's like that's the bee's knees. I'm going back next week for two. So that's my story. Hmm. So you went to Las Vegas and then you went to a mall. Uh yeah, I went to a mall. Like, wouldn't you go to gamble or go to strip clubs or something? Or like why would you go to a mall? Have you ever been to a strip club in Las Vegas? No. Do not ever go to a strip club in Las Vegas. Why not? So this is another George story. So, yeah, But I would think like you would have like the best, you know, no. I mean, if you're going to go, if you're going to go to another city, it's not like you're going to go to a fucking supermarket to see what their supermarket is like. You're going to go and see what's cool about that place. So if you're going to go to Las Vegas, you would go, I would assume, to gamble and see shows and things. Like, I don't know why you would go to a mall. Well, uh, first of all, if you're paying attention to my amazing story, that was absolutely breathtaking in every aspect. Um, it was connected to the goddamn hotel, okay? It's connected. Are you just walking through there to get to the casino then? Is that what the I idea is? Pee, and there is a, there's a bathroom in the fucking mall. So what do you want from me, man? I just, I was, I was going to the mall. So no, but in all seriousness, the mall has very good restaurants. And I, there, was a, there was a restaurant there. There was actually a couple of restaurants that we ate at. They were very isn't there, nice. Isn't there a fucking Rainforest Cafe in Dallas? I mean, why would you go to Las Vegas to go I to the Rainforest to Cafe? Like, Honestly. Actually, Actually, smart ass, <laughs> Mr. Jersey attitude. Do you want to know what restaurant was in the mall in Las Vegas? Yeah, Rainforest Cafe. No, I don't go to Rainforest Cafe. I don't yeah, because you like the you company, liked it when they do the rainstorm. Joe's Crab Shack. You went to a Joe's Crab Shack? No, I went to Carmine's in the mall. You That's mean it. like the New York Delicatessen? Like the New York restaurant I went to when I told the story about the guys that wanted me to eat fast. There's a, there's only two on planet Earth. But you just One, told a story about how when you go somewhere, you eat the food that's local to the place. Now you went to you went to Las Vegas to eat at a New York style, de style deli? It wasn't a deli. It's Italian food. Whatever it's the deli. fuck it is. I don't know. Well, now you know, because I'm telling you. This is, by the way, this is how all the conversations in New Jersey go, folks. This is, this why the, is the fuck would you go there? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Why, did you, why, the why would you, go you fucking place? go there? I don't know. So the reason why I went is because, A, the food's really fucking good. There were four of us, and we ate. Don't really you cheap. curse at me. Anyway, so, yeah, that's what the reason why I went there is because we're hungry. And it's oddly, it was, it was a miracle that they, just as it turns out, there was a car mine's there. And by the way, the people there were much friendlier than they were in New York. Go the figure. Was, but the, the, the food was just as good. The food was spectacular. So hmm. I enjoyed it a lot. Hmm. It was a, it was fantastic. No, yeah. the reason why you don't go to a strip club in Las Vegas is The reason you don't go to a strip club in Las Vegas. Yeah, thank you, Paul Schaefer. Can I get this Paul Schaefer rap, please? Can I get one of those? What? Nah, you know, Paul Schaefer goes, ah. I don't know who you're talking about. Anyway. That's before my time. Lord. That's right, Dave. That's that's right, Dave. 
Uh, so uh, the reason is that Nevada is, I think, the only state uh, that has legalized prostitution. Now, the reason is now prostitution is not legal in Las Vegas. Right. But most of the tourists don't know that. And there are no shortage of prostitutes in Las oh, Vegas. Oh, yeah. Sure. So the girls at the strip club mm-hmm. are competing mm-hmm. with the prostitutes mm-hmm. that are in Las Vegas. Right. So they are very aggressive. Yeah. Very aggressive. And, uh, you know, I, I've, I know nobody was going to believe this, but I've spent a lot of time in strip clubs in my youth. Mm-hmm. Okay. And up until including yesterday. And, and when I go to a strip club, it's a laid back event. It's just mm-hmm. chilling. You know, right. have a drink, you know, look and see what's going on. You listen to some right. music. If your buddy there, you tell some stories, they get some dances. It's a nice time. It's a nice relaxing evening. You know, it's just, it's the laid back thing to do. You know, mm-hmm. it's not like mm-hmm. a dance club where people fucking bumping into you and spilling right. drinks on you and all that shit. You know, it's just kind of chill. In Vegas, the girls want money. Right. They want it now. But don't they want money in Dallas too? Like, what's the difference between? They be, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the difference. The difference is in Dallas, if a girl wants to, you know, she'll, maybe she'll, maybe she'll come down and sit down and talk to you. But most of the time you have to go, you know, ask the girl, hey, you want to do some dances? No, yeah, yeah I'm doing the dance, the dance, the dance, the dance. Hmm. But in Vegas, it's 300 girls. Bam, 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 bam. You want to dance? You want to dance? What about your friend? No? All right. Fuck you right here. Boom, bam. And the next girl, hey, you want to dance? You want to dance? Hey, no. Well, fuck you right here. Boom, bam. Just imagine that happening 300 times an hour. And then after the hour's up, the rotation starts again. Hey, That's you want to dance? Like, it's like, I'm trying to drink my fucking drink here. Do you mind if I just chill mm. out for a fucking second? No, you want to dance? We're here to make money. We're not here for small talk. Bah, 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 bah. It's like, fuck me, man. This is I wish there fun. was some kind of place you could go to. We could just have a drink without there being girls there. Wouldn't that be great? No. Who would like want to go to a place to drink where there are no girls there? Just like a bar where you could go and just hang out with a bunch of guys. That would be freaking awesome. Then you could just tell stories and stuff and drink your drink without all these girls coming around. Ugh. <laughs> Ben, do you have something you're trying to tell us, folks, man? That's just, what are you trying to say, man? I shot some amateur porn with a turtle a long time ago. And then at a strip club in Vegas. At a strip club in Vegas. Yeah. And then like 20 <laughs> years later, here he was again. And so we <laughs> shot more amateur porn together. And yeah. It's pretty cool. Do you know the name of the uh uh the turtle Pokemon? The turtle Pokemon? Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. Ask Google. Hey, Google, what's the name of the turtle Pokemon? According to wikipedia.org, Squirtle's English name Squirtles. is the word. Squirt and turtle. Squirtles. <laughs> That's a total Ben name right there. That is a fucking cool name. Squirtles. <laughs> Squirtle. That really ties into the whole porn theme. Exactly. You know? We're shooting amateur porn. We're shooting amateur porn with squirtle. squirtles. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good time. I just want to get really close to my camera here. <laughs> oh, God. I probably... Google's still trying to figure that whole thing out. It's like, what are you doing? What? What now? Goodbye, everybody. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. My fat hands. If you found this interesting, you could click the subscribe button, but you don't have to. We ain't, we ain't begging. All if right. you made it this far, you may as well click subscribe. Jesus <laughs> Christ. What please. else you got to lose? You really? must be totally desperate. <laughs> well, what a beat. I mean, uh, what, you got nothing better to do with your life. You might as well subscribe, please. <laughs> <laughs>